Hey friends, I'm here with a small experiment for you, or for myself rather. As you know, I, I made it no secret that I feel like my paladin is subpar, and I'm here with my paladin now. So I'm going to do slash note and open up a note here. And we're going to erase what's on here. It was from something I did a while ago. And we're going to put down my current HP, which is 72,125. And that's my HP. And then we're going to put down my AC, which is currently at 1939. Okay, so that's what we're putting down. Why? Because... So I, I currently have different pieces here of between tier tiers one, two, and three. I th actually, it's it's probably more like two, three, two, three, and four. I think some of them. I'm not sure. So I've got ambiguous, and I've got recondite. I think that's just tier two, the recondite. And I think the Lucid is tier 4. Actually, I don't have any Abstruse left. So, yeah, I have tier 2, 3, and 4 armors of House of Thule, right? But I'm already at level 92. So I should start having even better armor, right? Let's try to upgrade. I decided, why not make some cultural? So I threw away a bunch of plat basically, uh, where I was able to, you know, get my smithing up. I, I got my adamantite or adamantine hammer. So I, I maxed out my blacksmith trophy. And I also maxed out my blacksmithing, more or less anyway, where it is at uh, 348 with the hammer equipped. It's at 303 without the hammer. Okay, and uh, I was able to make my cultural armor. I was able to make my glorious moon glade gloves, uh, cuirass, and boots, and all that, legs, all that stuff, which isn't bad. And then I also made the augs, right? So we're going to take all these augs, and we're going to put them in the appropriate armor. And we're going to see how it comes out. And then we're going to switch the armor out. And we're going to see, is is my AC and my hit points going to be a lot better or barely? Uh, I'm going to give up any kind of focus item or focus effect, of course, like ferocity and uh, I don't know, whatever against the clock is. And there's not a whole lot of focus for a paladin, really. So I feel like I'm not going to be losing a ton of stuff, you know. So let's get started. This is the uh, glove symbol. So I'm going to put it here in the gloves. And now this is 152 AC with 1900 hit points. While my gloves that I'm currently wearing is only at 136 AC with 1475 hit points. So I'm going to get more hit points. I'm going to lose some things, of course. Like uh, the cultural only has a 25 to attack. While the lucid has a 40 to attack. So I think I'm going to gain and lose some things. Like the gloves here have an 8 modifier to bash. I don't know even what that does. Maybe it adds damage to bash or something like that. But I'm more concerned about... AC and hit points really so let's keep going uh, we can close that now and I apologize if you hear all the noise and the ruckus going on on my end but like I mentioned many times in previous videos I have the absolute worst neighbors in the world I live in the most awfulest building in the world maybe not in the world but just around you know uh, it's always noisy here. It's always terrible. And I wish I lived elsewhere. So, 
See the sleeves. The sleeves look pretty good. Uh, wrist. So I'm just going to hurry up and do all this. Because really, you know, the end goal is just to see what my stats look like after I switch, right? And of course, when you're making these augs, you got to make sure they're the, the correct deity. So, you know, see, these are Tunar. And of course, my paladin worships Tunar. You always want to make sure you've got the right, uh, the right deity. And that just means you're using the right kind of blessed water, you know, when you're making your augs. So let's put that up there in the corner. It doesn't even have to be that big. Ah, come on. Come on, there we go. It's kind of hard to get it in that corner sometimes. So everything is now augged. So let's see. Uh, we're going to start switching things over. Now, I could further the stats on this, of course, if I put some more augs in my cultural armor, right? It'd be really awesome if I knew how to make the raid augs, but I know, I, at least I am pretty certain that to make the raid augs, you need raid material drops of some kind to be able to craft that stuff. And I don't have it. I don't think I could get access to it, uh, you know? So let's see now. I have all my new armor equipped. Uh, it doesn't look any different for me here because I've used the prismatic dye to just make everything the same, like, uniform color. I just go straight white. So here's my old stats. It was at, I was at 72, 125. Oh, okay. I am noticing a nice difference. I am now at 77. 328. Uh, so I gained 5,000 hit points by switching, by switching my armor. How about my AC? My AC was 1939. My new AC is 2012, guys. That is also a nice jump in AC. And that is without any augs. I probably have some augs in some parts of this armor. Maybe, uh, maybe not. I might not have any augs at all. I might not. Um, so that means that, yeah, I could probably go out and try to find some augs. Is this an aug? No, that's not. Well, it is an aug, but it's not an aug for me. It's for, for casters. So I have to go out and try to find some augs to put in my armor, and then I can increase the stats on it even more. And uh, I think it's probably worth it. I know that once I start doing the next, once I start doing the next expansion, I will find better, of course. I don't expect that to not happen, you know. And, and this can go in the bank or be tributed or whatever. But I do think this is good filler until I find that great awesome stuff uh, and some of the things do have you know nice stats like you know this has attack my bracers they have attack on them so it'll all add up and they have like you know hit point regen mana regen all that good stuff so what is my current combat hit point regen is three 85 my comp my mana regen is 432 my endurance regen is only at 83 i don't know how you improve that uh, but i don't really use a whole lot of endurance during combat i'm not like a warrior or a rogue so i mostly i'm going to be using spells and mana and that sort of thing but i do think this is good i think it's helped a lot uh, you know, there's even purity in this armor, like already, you see, like everything has a 50 purity, because I believe that's something that is important, <laughs> uh, in the expansion of Alaris, I believe it's Alaris, which is where, uh, like, I gotta go to, like, or Shard's Landing, or whatever, 
at this level and start doing things. But uh, I wanted to improve my Paladin a little bit and get their hit points up a little bit. Because, you know, hey, they are a tank, you know. And I felt like they were being kind of crappy compared to where they could be. I think a lot of my jewelry could be better too. So I might look into upgrading jewelry as well. And see if I can maybe even just craft something better with my enchanter. And uh, I'm probably going to do that right now. And, and see if it improves my stats even more. After working with my jeweler for a little bit, I have made some Alaran jewelry. And we're going to take a look and see what the stats are. Now, if you just right-click when it's in your inventory, you're not going to see the correct stats. Because as you see now, it looks awful. These are terrible stats for this level. This might be like a tier one item from House of Thule, you know? That's why you got to wear it. You got to wear it to get the exact stats because I don't know. It's weird. They made these weird. That's all I got to say. So this currently that I'm wearing has 69 AC with uh, 1,278 hit points. Let's see what the Alaran ring in comparison has. And as you could see, when I actually wear it, the stats have jumped up significantly, all right? This is 87 AC, so the AC is better. The hit points are better. It's at 1677. Even the mana and endurance is better. And that's, I didn't even put an emerald in this, which usually gives you the extra, it would, if I put an emerald in here instead of a peridot, the mana and endurance would match the hit points exactly. But I didn't. Why? Because I chose a peridot instead, which gives extra AC. Because I'm a paladin. I think I'm already going to have more than enough mana for my piddly heals and whatever. So that's, that's what I wanted. I wanted extra AC. So yeah, it's, it's already better. It's even probably better than this other earring that I have. Yes, it is. And sure, again, I'm not getting focus. You could always get some of these jewelry items that give you extra AAs and stuff like that. Trigger them and then put them in your bank or sell them or get rid of them or whatever. Once you've unlocked the AAs that they give or any other effects. But yeah, there's, there's focus effects that you don't get. But... Certain classes don't really need some of these effects, like a paladin. I made a bracelet too. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick look. Let me put the bracelet on so I get the correct reading, you know, the correct stats. And I'm gonna compare it to the bracer, the actual plate bracer. So it looks like while the bracelet gives me more attack and some better of uh, uh, more of the other stats the uh the bracer gives me much better ac and much better hit points at least at this level also i want to point out this isn't the full sum of the power of this bracelet it's recommended at level 95 so the stats will go up it's it's similar to you know what what this will end up being uh you know almost 2k hit points this too is going to be almost at 2k hit points but because the ac is so crappy compared to just the cultural bracer i'm going to just keep the cultural bracer uh let's see compared to that that goblin mask yeah again the uh, veil is going to be so much better so i think it's it's obvious that all my jewelry is going to blow whatever jewelry I'm currently wearing out of the water. This one I tempted to keep because I think it gives me a, a slight bonus for my healing spells. But I am going to replace everything for now just because I really want to see uh, the difference in the stats. You know, just the raw stats, which is better. 
So that was my hit points and AC before the cultural upgrade. All right. And this is my hit points and AC after only the cultural before I did the jewelry. Okay. And now this is going to be my stats and AC or my hit points and AC after the jewelry. I got another significant boost. Not as much as when I just switched the armor, but still pretty good. I'm almost at 80k hit points now. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm also buffed, right? But considering where I was before and now after, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I feel like I will do better tanking these mobs in Shards Landing now with these upgrades. And I wanted to do this because these are simple things you can do without having like super uber raid gear or anything. Anybody can make cultural armor. You just got to waste a bunch of plat to skill up, you know, buy, buy the materials in the bazaar. I would recommend setting up a buyer. It's the easiest, best, and cheapest way. Set up a buyer. Try to buy low so you can get all your materials to skill up your blacksmithing. And then, you know, if you don't have a jeweler, find a nice jeweler willing to help you with the jewelry or something. You might even be able to find yourself uh, a blacksmith who can craft this stuff for you, you know. Find, if you have a guild, ask a guild mate or whatever. So yeah, my hit points now is 79, uh, 687, and my AC now is uh, 20, 20, 28. So my AC didn't go up a whole lot uh, with the jewelry. It was at 2012, now it's at 2028. 20, so it did go up a little bit, right? compared to compared to where it was it went up a lot if you consider all the upgrades here because i was at 1939 before and i'm at 2028 20, now so my ac jumped up almost a full thousand points with these upgrades again i'm pretty happy with it this is also with equipping a shield uh, of course if i take the shield off yeah my ac is going to take a big dive but if I'm tanking, I'm going to be using a shield. I'm not going to be a dummy and and not. Uh, my, my weapon is appropriate for my level. And the shield, is the shield appropriate? Okay, I could actually probably upgrade my shield to a shield for like level 91 plus. So, because uh, I'm currently wearing a slimy dragon emblazoned shield. Wearing, using, whatever. So I'm going to probably look in the bazaar to see if I can't find a better shield. I might not be able to. Let's take a look right now. In fact, uh, let's go to armor class here. We're going to go to paladin because we want to make sure a paladin can use the shield that we're getting. And we're going to put here a shield, right? Because that's what we want shield and oh we got to make sure we do the level we don't want to see anything for level 125 that we can't use so i'm going to put 92 because that's where i'm at and here we go this is what we have my current shield has an ac of 170 and they've got some here with ac of over 245 now some of this is a little steep for me I don't want to spend tons and tons of money because why? Yes, gnomes are frugal. But considering I'm at 170, even if I wanted to go super cheap and just get something like the shield of greatness over here, uh, it's it's at 205 AC for only 18k. Or there's this other thing for 200 AC that has 200 AC that's only 2.450k, okay, you know? I mean, yeah, maybe I could treat myself. This one's only 99.5k. That's actually not bad. It's probably a steal 
245 AC. Uh, it's got some phenomenal hit points on it. And you know what? I think I'm going to spoil myself. I think we're going to go run and buy this shield because we could really use that AC. Hopefully it'll still be there when I get into the bazaar. This is a time when I'm really glad that I'm not live streaming. So, so nobody is, is trolling me and just buys it out from under me. Because, yeah, I could see one of my guildmates doing it. They would probably give it to me in the end, you know, and say, yeah, I was just messing with you. But the frustration in my face would probably be real. Okay, here I am inside the bazaar now, and that shield looks like it's still up. So we're going to hit find a traitor, and we're going to go run up here. And I really hope that I am getting a good deal. I think I am. I feel like I am. Considering there are shields underneath that one that are three times as much. So let's take a look again. What was it called? Shield of the Domain? Okay. Did I pass it up? There it is. Okay. Sometimes you just got to type it in because I don't know. Maybe I'm just freaking going blind. And there we go. We've got Shield of the Domain. So now we're going to see what it looks like when we've got this new shield equipped and what did our AC jump to now well, and what does this shield look like oh, it's not bad looking it's uh it's interesting I could always just uh take out the aug the uh decorative aug here and put it in my new shield to just make it look like it, it was before it says it already has an augment applied i don't know why yeah i guess for some reason i can't do anything i cannot my my shield aug in there so i'm stuck with this look which is sad because you know i liked the look of the other one but at least this one isn't completely horrible and the ac jumped up pretty good so my current AC is now at 2109. So let's type that in. We've like, did our hit points go up? Yeah, our hit points went up too. So we're now at 81, uh, 329 HP. And our AC is at 2109. So look, we jumped up four times, just upgrading a few things, you know, well, more than a few things. We did our, like most, almost all of our armor, right? And we did all of our jewelry. And so we were at 72,000 hit points before, and we're at 81 now. That's nearly a 10,000 hit point jump. And the AC, we jumped up on that as well. So I feel pretty good i feel pretty confident now that we're going to be able to take on just about anything in that zone at least as a tank i feel i feel good i feel happy with some of these upgrades and i guess if i really wanted to i could try to upgrade a little further i could see maybe there's a cape out here because my cape sucks so let's take a look we'll go from shield and i'm just going to Go, ah, go to any type, and we're going to go over here to slot back, and we're going to do a search there, and so there's something called an arc barbed cape. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at the, look at the hit points on that. That's pretty cool. That's much better. What's the cost though? 500k. 
500k though ah i don't know about that uh and i don't really uh want the ac now like yeah i want high ac but instead of ac let's go to uh hit points to see the stats i want to get the thing with the most hit points so that is that cape but for a lot less i can get almost the same amount of hit points by getting this shadow web shawl and that still seems to have pretty good ac especially compared to what i'm wearing which is only 76 ac so i think we're gonna do that too i think we're gonna go grab this shawl which is only 20k man it is pretty amazing uh so let's go and uh end find and we'll go and hit find on this new trader with this shadow web shawl and take another quick look okay yeah it's it's level appropriate i am 92 and that's for level 92 and you know maybe i'll be able to uh three box and do some gribbles and stuff like that maybe i can even take my bard there just to get some uh some marks and stuff for them i think it's this one right here this high elf and what was that thing called because i have a terrible memory shadow web shawl okay there it is so we bought ourselves a new cape so now our hit points are at eighty-two thousand six hundred and thirty. again so i you know i don't raid or anything i i don't think i did anything amazing just buying a couple of things in the bazaar and i made most of it most of what i what i'm wearing uh i could possibly do the belt i'm okay with the shoulders honestly at the moment i wonder if there's a charm out there let's see uh go to charm slot there's a lot of charms that i don't like to get because they have these stupid little rules on them like it only increases your stats when it's raining or when it's snowing or when when mercury's in retrograde or something like that I don't know. it's just so stupid i hate that about charms i like getting charms like this one where it improves with your throwing skill well my throwing skill once i get it up isn't going to change so the stats are going to stay where they are you know uh that's and that's what i like I, there's one that improves with you know when you learn more languages well once you learn those languages you know it's it's going to be maxed out and it's going to stay that way it's not going to get lower when it's raining or snowing or the sun is out or whatever you know the planets aren't aligned it's just i i hate that about the charms i think it's one of the dumbest game mechanics out there and I think it needs to stop. I think they need to just erase that from everything. I mean, they already took off the magic item tag from, from magic items. Nothing has a, a, a tag that says magic item anymore. Uh, remember back in the day, you used to be able to, uh, you had to get a magic item to fight a will-o'-wisp or it was immune or to fight a ghoul or it was immune to regular weapons. You know, they got rid of that why can't they get rid of this stupid ass mechanic where you know a charm only improves if mercury is in retrograde or or your stool was brown today instead of green or i don't i don't know i think it's ridiculous like i said if if they want to get rid of something get rid of that get rid of the, the requirements for charms just make them do what they do and that's it you know be you know as, as long as it's level appropriate or whatever so i don't know should i try to get another belt let's let's take a look let's take a look at the uh if there's a really cheap belt out there waste search yeah there really isn't a super cheap belt but there is this thing called carapace barb something and it's a little bit of an upgrade i mean it's got like 500 more hit points almost 600 more hit points and 
Uh, the haste is the same. I mean, it doesn't even matter. I don't know what expanded mind does. Will unlock alternate advancement ability that will increase your mana pool by 850. Sure, why not? You know, it's only 10k. That's a steal. That's great. Good price. So let's go look for that. It looks like we're dealing with this uh, nice Vashir over here. And it's a carapace barbed cincture. Sphincter? I don't know. <laughs> so there we go. Now, we, I mean, it just keeps getting better. We're at 83k now. Again, haven't spent that much money. The most money I spent was getting my smithing skill up to 300 plus. That was it. But as far as the rest, you know, not buying expensive things. I guess I've gone this far. I might as well look some look for a shoulder item if i could find a cheap one also anything under 20k oh here's something that's got for 5k it's got uh 2157 hit points compared to what i'm wearing i'd say that's a pretty good upgrade uh frostbike pauldrons yeah level 92 to 95 so let's go find that I don't like buying things in the bazaar, really, because it kind of takes away from, you know, finding those sweet loot items. You kill something and you find, like, hey, ooh, look, that's an upgrade for me. And if you already have, the, you know, some of the best things in the bazaar that you could buy, that kind of, you know, ruins that whole effect for you. So here's a nice human trader. Okay. And what was the name of the thing? It was called a Frost Spiked Pauldrons. There it is, Frost Spiked Pauldrons, 5K. So I probably spent less than 50K, I'm guessing, I'm hoping, I don't know. But it's got a cool graphic on it too. It's like this spiked shoulder looking thing. So the end result after all these little upgrades is I have 83,966 hit points and I have 2132 AC. So yeah, I feel good. I feel really good. Now I've got all this stuff I got to put in my bank or get rid of or do something with. I don't know. Uh, but that's it, you know, I think that's it for my, my video today. I don't know about upgrading my weapon. I'm kind of proud that I make some of my own weapons. I had Fez make this, you know. I, I guess I can take a quick look and see. Uh, gonna hit Paladin, uh, one-handed slashing. What can I find here that would be a one-handed slashing for level 92 for a paladin a dwarven axe see that that sucks compared to what i have what i have is so much better a ratio of almost five whereas that's a ratio of like barely three uh not to mention the hit points on this is so much better uh so yeah i don't think i'm gonna find a better weapon honestly i think this weapon is phenomenal for for now anyway until something drops you know that could be the one thing that maybe will drop that i'll find like some sweet paladin weapon and i'll be like yay an upgrade to my weapon because chances of me finding an upgrade now are gonna be slim unless i find you know maybe the tier one drops or the tier two drops in the next expansion for this character are probably going to blow away my cultural. I, I expect or hope they will. Um, the only other thing would be I can try to shop for Augs, but I think that would be boring and tedious in a video because it would probably take a long time. So that's it. This is my little video of upgrading my Paladin to make them a little bit less sucky. 
and hopefully I will have some fun playing them now because it gets frustrating when you feel like your armor is made of paper or your character is made of paper and you keep getting your ass handed to you. The monsters are walking up to me with my ass in hand and saying, here, here's your ass. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Mostly, I just wanted to show you, hey, you can get some decent armor by crafting it. You know, everything doesn't have to be dropped. And uh, sometimes, yes, sometimes Defiant, especially for the lower levels, is way better than the cultural. But let's say, you know, you're, you're having a hard time. You're a plate class and all the monsters just want to drop like cloth or silk or, or leather or chain and you haven't gotten a piece of defiant plate at all well you could always supplement some of that with some plate cultural that you can craft for your for your race right and that's what i do a lot of times you know i'll craft some cultural to fill up the slots because even though the cultural at low level really sucks it might still be better than just wearing the glooming deep armor that you got from being a newbie if you even played the tutorial at all. Uh, so I hope you find this useful. And, and the jewelry too, you know. Jewelry crafted by my enchanter, you know, with jewel crafting. Not bad. I'm sure I'll probably find better. But hey, that's one of the things, you know. I didn't have to spend a ton of money to craft this stuff because I had the materials already and maybe if I stumble on a ring that has over 2k hit points that has maybe 110 AC on it or something then I'll say hey an upgrade joy I can put this other ring away or pass it down to one of my lower level guys for when they get to 91 plus you know and and that's it so I hope you find this useful if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, you could give it a thumbs down. Whether you like or dislike my video, let me know in the comments what you would do to make the video better or, or what you liked about it. If you like what I do here and you'd like to support me and support the channel, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Or you could join the channel as a channel member. Channel members get special perks and privileges, like a link to join the private Discord. If YouTube memberships are not your thing, check the links below the video for a link to our Patreon. Patreon patrons get similar perks, like a link to join the private Discord. And there's no ads over there on Patreon. You can also leave a super thanks. A super thanks is like a little donation that says, hey... Fez, thanks for the video. This was informative and helpful. I'd like to thank all my current YouTube channel members and Patreon patrons for your continued support. Thank you very much for your continued support of the channel. Just putting a smile on my face. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Don't forget to check out our live streams. Every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, or 6 p.m. New York City Time, if that's easier for you to remember. We usually hang out with a full group of players, and you can hear us all chat and listen to our banter, and just hang out with us for a while, while we try to succeed in our missions, quests, goals, tasks, and occasionally get our asses handed to us by whatever mob we happen to be fighting. It's a good time, and you might have some laughs. Again, that's every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope to see you there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day, and a wonderful tomorrow.